Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will solve example number 15.12 from the book Fundamentals of Electrical Circuits by using the graphical method. So, this is the question find the convolution of the two signals. So the signals are x1t and x2t as given here. So the first step will follow always in graphical analysis is to change the scale from t to lambda or t to z or t to any other variable and we change this or make this change of the scale is because we will be using t as a variable in solving this problem. Okay, so once we have changed the variable to lambda, so you can see t has been changed to lambda. And so does the name x1 t now becomes x1 lambda and x2 t becomes x2 lambda. Okay, so these were the two signals. Now let's see what is the next step. Flip one of the signals around zero axis. So we have to flip either this signal around zero axis or this signal around zero axis. Uh, this is slightly easier because starting from zero, so we'll flip this, but you'll get same result if you try to flip this, as long as you understand the technique. So we have flipped this around. So now the name will change to X minus lambda. And the third step is that move the flip signal to a point T. A point T could be anywhere, it's an arbitrary point. The only thing we'll do is change this name to T. So zero has now been um, named T. And so minus one will be T minus one. And this signal's name will also change now, X minus T minus lambda. Okay, now the next step is that we'll push this towards the, the other signal. Let's see. So we have pushed this signal towards the uh, x2 lambda and we push just short of the overlap. Now you see when t comes somewhere here greater than 1 then there will be an overlap between the two signals. But now it is short of 1 so there is no overlap. You can see there is a gap here, no overlap. So that is the first step of pushing the signal. So range for movement of t less than 1, this is the uh, equation for convolution integral, so we will carry this. What is the result in this case? No overlap. And since there is no overlap, this term is actually the multiplication of the two during overlap. So since there is no overlap, therefore this will be uh, the result will be 0 and so we can say that yt is 0 for t less than 1. Okay, now we have moved it further beyond uh, 1. Earlier we had stopped short of 1, so now we have crossed 1, so between 1 and 2. Why between 1 and 2? Because after 2, this end will become open or it will not have any uh, overlap so we just this is our limit for the time being so we can say that the movement of t is from 1 to 2 this will be clear when we go further okay so what is uh, the, we carry the formula that we had in our case now the formula is x2 and x1 these two and now what is the limit of integration now if you see carefully if you see the uh, overlap this is the overlap from here to here so the lower limit of overlap is one very clear so we put one from here the upper limit is not clear depends on where this t is and so the upper limit will keep as t so the upper limit is t 
and now we'll plug in the values of x2 and x1 t lambda and you know this one is 1 and this is 2 magnitude so 1 multiply by 2 lambda or 2 multiply by 1 this will give 2 lambda and then we put the limits so it is 2 t minus 1 is the answer for this portion this is the output Okay, now we have pushed uh, the signal further and t is now between 2 and 3 so the range for movement of t is between 2 and 3 the original integral formula for convolution now in our case the values will change now it is x2 lambda and x1 t lambda and we have to be very careful now about the limits now let's see from here this is the start of overlap we don't know the value from the upper scale or the upper signal but we for sure know the value of starting from the lower signal t minus 1 so we'll take this value as the starting point same as the end of overlap we don't know the value here but we know that the end of overlap is uh, or the uh, second signal is at t so the end of overlap or the upper limit is t and now we plug in the values one of for this and two for this so the integral of two lambda which is two lambda and the two limits plugging in the values we get an answer of 2. So now we have moved beyond uh, 3. So t is now between 3 and 4 because after 4 the total overlap will end. Now there is partial overlap. Only this portion is overlapping. This portion is not. So the range is between 3 and 4 and the original equation for integral plugging in in our case okay now let's see what are the limits again of overlap so the overlap is only this portion from here to here so the starting point we don't know from here but we know from here it is t minus 1 but the ending point we don't know from this now but we know from here that it is 3 so starting is t minus 1 but ending is 3 plugging in the values 1 into 2 is 2 lambda putting in the limits and then we solve so we now get the answer 8 minus 2 t okay and finally we have moved beyond 4 so t is beyond 4 no more overlap so we, our answer will now be 0 t greater than 4 no overlap so y t is equal to 0 for t greater than 0 so let's summarize now you can see these are all the answers that we got we got 0 for less than 1 we got 2 t minus 2 between 1 and 2 we got 2 from 2 and 3, 8 minus 2 t from 3 and 4, and 0 from t greater than 4. Now let's try to plot the signal. In the first case 0 up to 1. So this is 0 for this part. Then we come to the second part. You see this is 2t minus 2 means the slope is positive 2 and the intercept is minus 2. So this is the line. The, if you extend this, we will touch the intercept minus 2. But the slope of 2 is 1 division in the horizontal axis is equal to 2 division in the vertical axis. So we plotted this one. 
Now this is a straight line because it's constant between 2 and 3. So it will be something like this. It's a constant 2. And now we come to this one. This is now a negative slope with intercept 8. So let's see how do we plot this. So this is the negative slope of uh, slope 2 or M2 and the intercept is at positive 8 and finally we have 0 here so this is the total or the complete answer so I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem thank you